I consider myself as a firefighter who was mistaken or arrested as a nationalist by an irresponsible policeman who came to the scene too late. That was the heart of Muthaura's statement. He believes the prosecution fabricated its evidence just to drag him to the International Criminal Court. For me to be presented in this court as a monster by information gathered, I would say from the bush, I really feel very sad. We have statements, sometimes one paragraph only in length, from anonymous individuals, unknown, unheard of, who cannot be tested. Those witnesses, according to Madaura and his lawyers, have questionable characters. Looked at the documents that were given to Mr. Fowle, which are said to be the original handwritten notes of people we suspect to be prosecution witnesses, offering to uh, bribe offering to give evidence for hire, uh, offering to give evidence to the prosecution if they're given a good way of life. Ndiki is a proscribed, a proscribed criminal organization in the country. I'm secretary of the cabinet, head of public service. How do I get myself entangled with the criminal organization. What benefit could I be having? What benefit? Another issue bothering both the Ali and Mudaura defense teams is the prosecution's failure to submit any piece of evidence that exonerates their clients until they came across one as late as a day before the hearings formally opened. Now on behalf of all the defense, we are always want to receive exculpatory material from the prosecution. However, at this juncture, it seems virtually impossible for us to incorporate that information into any presentation that we happen to make over the next 12 days. That the prosecution, who have a statutory obligation, my other friend sitting opposite, has a statutory obligation, not as a favor, but an obligation to search for the truth. Ironically, any time the prosecutor came to Nairobi, we sat across the table. He always passed in front of my office. I escorted him to his car. He never at any time mentioned to me I was a suspect. I would have given him answers to the issues that he thinks he has. Modaura, Ali, and Uhuru are facing charges of murder, deportation, and forcible transfer of populations, rape, and other forms of sexual violence in Nakuru and Naivasha counties. Sylvia Chibit, Citizen Live at 9.